Welcome to Puerto Rico English News. The only English speaking broadcast of local Puerto Rican news and entertainment. Please subscribe. Keep us alive. Saturday, November 5th, a group of tourists found themselves trapped by rising floodwaters as they attempted to hike to the Las Dinajas waterfall in Ceiba, Puerto Rico. Emergency and police personnel rescued the group from the rising river waters. A Puerto Rico resident took this video of flash flooding in Ciales, Utuado, and the Lagos das Bocas Dam in Arecibo this past weekend. Personnel from the Municipality of Huncos, and the Bureau for Emergency Management and Disaster Administration, suspended, Sunday, the work to find a woman, whose vehicle was swept away by a flood, that occurred near the La Ceiba Creek. Rescue personnel found the vehicle, a gray Toyota Yaris, tilted on the driver's side, but the driver was not inside. Divers from the Urban Search and Rescue Group and emergency personnel from the area, carried out a search of the entire area, to find the woman. A group went down the ravine, to look for the woman, both in the water and on the banks. We hope it stops raining, so they can continue their search. When they found the vehicle, the window on the passenger side, was open, as was the trunk, the mayor reported to the media. Mayor Alfredo Alejandro Carrion, told the press that the missing woman, who lives in the Las Piñas neighborhood, is 47 years old, a nursing student and has two young daughters. November 6, a 21-year-old man was killed, last Wednesday, in an incident reported on Calle Comercio de Morovis, the police bureau stated. The preliminary report, prepared by agent Ruben Ortega Lal Uz, states that Arroyo Negron, a resident of the Morovis neighborhood, died at the scene, after receiving multiple gunshot wounds to different parts of his body. Officer seized a firearm, and found multiple shell casings. Wednesday November 2nd, a man was murdered, and a woman was shot and wounded, in events reported Wednesday afternoon. At the Sagrado Corazon Urban Train Station, in San Churse, the police bureau reported, a call to the 911 emergency system, alerted to shots fired at the scene. Upon arrival, authorities found the body of 21-year-old Christian Rojas Ramirez, who died at the scene, after receiving multiple gunshot wounds. The police indicated that a 63-year-old woman, a bystander, was also shot. She fled inside, where employees assisted her. Friday, November 4th, 
a man was murdered on Friday afternoon, inside a residence, on Santa Narcissa Street, in the College Park neighborhood, in San Juan, reported the press office of the police bureau. According to the preliminary investigation, the young man, identified as Christopher Vega Rivera, 23, was on the balcony of the property, when he was shot to death. The events were reported at 2.19 p.m. The authorities are still investigating the motive for the crime. Saturday, November 5th, the naked body of a man, with several bullet wounds, was found Saturday, on the PR 149 highway, near the Sea Alitos neighborhood, in Siaals, reported the police bureau. The deceased was described as having a white complexion, black hair, brown eyes, between 35 and 40 years old, about 5 feet 8 inches tall, and weighing approximately 170 pounds. He was only wearing a tennis shoe on his left foot, a red Nike brand, and black socks. Sunday, November 6, a minor, under 17 years of age, was murdered, in the middle of a robbery, that occurred at around 4.12 am, Sunday, on the PR-866 highway, in Toa Baja, reported the police bureau. According to the preliminary report, the authorities received an alert of shots fired in the area. Later, the minor was taken, in critical condition, to a hospital in Bayamon, where they certified her death. The teenager had a gunshot wound to her side torso. Related to these events, agents from the Puerto Nuevo precinct, placed a person under arrest, and seized a vehicle and a firearm. The authorities confirmed that the detainee, is the suspect in the robbery, where the young woman was fatally wounded. Sunday November 6, the body of the woman, partially nude, and with her face covered, was found, Sunday morning. The body was located on the pavement, near the old Gar Cree de Mujeres, a woman's shelter in Rio Piedras, reported the police bureau. At the moment, the deceased has not been identified by the authorities, but was described as, black complexion, brown hair, approximately 5 feet and an inch tall, with tattoos on her back, left hand and right leg. She was wearing grey underwear, and a long-sleeved black shirt. The corpse had a wound on the left side of the forehead, and another on the right side of the head, in addition to lacerations on both knees. Monday, November 7, authorities are investigating the discovery of a 53-year-old woman's body, on the side of the road, in the Tipez neighborhood, in Ponce, Puerto Rico. Captain Daniel Justiniano director of the Ponce Criminal Investigation Corps, indicated that the woman's car was found in the parking lot of the CVS Pharmacy, near the Aristides Xavier residential complex. The body did not show signs of violence, the body was taken to the Institute of Forensic Sciences, and we will wait for the autopsy, to find out the cause of death, said Justiniano. It was classified, for the moment, as a death without a determined cause, because it could not be seen, at the time, if it was a violent death. The captain stressed that, as in other CVS pharmacies, there are security cameras, where the car was found, so they are in the process, of verifying the video recordings. Monday November 7, the trial continues for two, of the remaining seven defendants, charged in the $9 million, fraud conspiracy, against the city of Mayaguez, Puerto Rico. The defendants Arnaldo Irizarry Irizarry and Alejandro Riera Fernandez, former legal advisor to the municipality of Mayaguez, and former director of the corporation, Mayaguez Economic Development Incorporated, respectively, admitted that they had not done any work to justify the monthly compensation they received, between 2016 and 2017, from the $9 million that the city had invested, in the purchase and sale of securities on the stock exchange, the funds, of which, they were charged with managing. At least, that's what the tenth witness for the federal prosecution, in the fraud case against the defendants, alleged last week. FBI agent Daniel Crisilius, who began his current position in 2016, and two years later, interviewed both defendants, as part of the criminal investigation related to the multi-million dollar scam. The defendants allegedly received at least $150,000 each, from transfers from another entity, formed by the former administrative consultant, Eugenio Garcia Jimenez, who has already pleaded guilty, to conspiring to commit fraud against the municipal government. The lawyer, 
who legally represents the former mayor of Macau, Reynaldo Ray Vargas Rodriguez, in the case for which he is accused of public corruption, stated that he would be willing to evaluate with his client, any offer proposed by the federal prosecutor's office, to plead guilty. Vargas Rodriguez, 48, is charged with three counts of conspiracy, committing bribery to receive kickbacks, and extortion. For these accusations, he pleaded not guilty. The former mayor was arrested in the early hours of May 5, by agents of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, after a federal grand jury accused him of a public corruption scheme, for which he would have received approximately $15,000, in exchange for awarding city contracts. The former executive assistant, to the former mayor of Trujillo Aldo, Radames Benitez Cardona, will plead guilty to public corruption, his defense attorney reported Thursday, through a motion, in which he requested a hearing to change the guilty plea, in exchange for a minimum sentence of 30 months in prison, as the defense will suggest, or 46 months, which will be the sentence that the prosecutor, will recommend. According to the indictment, the former official was involved in a pattern of bribery, linked to the companies, Waste Collection, and J.R. Asphalt, whose owners were, Oscar Santa Maria, and Raymond Rodriguez, respectively. The two businessmen pleaded guilty to the charges against them. After the passage of Hurricane Fiona, on September 18, environmental organizations took on the task of restoring the coral reefs, affected by the atmospheric phenomenon, that otherwise, would not have survived, without their intervention. 30 volunteers, from the Marine Environment Society organization, managed to rescue, and replant, more than 5,000 coral fragments, during the first weeks after the hurricane, on the Culebra Island municipality. Hurricanes are something that have always existed, but the increase in frequency and strength, has changed, so the effect is much greater, said Samuel Suleiman, president of the agency. The force of the wind is great, but the force of the water is much greater, because it is denser, Suleiman added, noting that changes in the tidal wave, affect ecosystems, by uprooting, and breaking, a large number of corals that have been restored, over the years. The Plaza Las Americas, and Plaza del Caribe shopping centers, will kick off the Christmas season on Friday, November 11, 2022. For the first time, both shopping centers are preparing to celebrate their traditional illumination of Plaza Las Americas, and the lighting of the Christmas tree at Plaza del Caribe, along with the arrival of Santa. As of Saturday, November 12, the traditional snowfalls will begin in both shopping centers, every day at 11 a.m., 3 p.m., and 7 p.m., they make it snow inside. It's lovely. Stated one trip advisor review. The Christmas lighting activities, in Plaza Las Americas, and Plaza del Caribe, will begin on Friday, November 11th, from 7 p.m. Thanks for watching. Here's your weather for the week. Be sure and follow us on Facebook or Twitter, for up-to-date news, weather, entertainment, tourism, viral videos and more. Just search Puerto Rico English News, or follow the link in the description. Thanks for subscribing. Have an amazing week.